In this video, we're going to go over the atrionatriuretic peptide and how the kidney helps to regulate blood pH. So, in the last video, we talked about how the juxtaglomerular apparatus and the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system respond to decreases in blood pressure. AMP is how the body responds to increases in blood pressure. The way it works is, if blood pressure is high, this is going to result in more stretching of the atria, or more atrial distension. In response to this, the atria secretes AMP. AMP has several effects. The first is to inhibit renin secretion. This is going to prevent the production of angiotensin II and reduce the production of aldosterone as well as ADH. This means that more fluid is going to be excreted as urine and also less sodium will be reabsorbed, which means more sodium gets secreted. AMP also acts directly on the distal convoluted tubule to decrease sodium reabsorption. So again, that means more sodium gets secreted. And finally, the AMP is also going to act on the afferent arterioles to dilate them. And dilation of the afferent arteriole is going to increase the hydrostatic pressure of the glomerular capillaries, resulting in more filtration, so more fluid is going to be produced as urine. So collectively, this is going to result in a decrease in the blood pressure and an increase in sodium excretion. And the sodium part essentially matches the name. Naturesis essentially is referring to the loss of sodium. Okay, so now let's talk about pH regulation. So pH regulation is looking at how the body is able to maintain a fairly constant blood pH value. There are some situations where blood pH may decrease, where we have what is called acidosis, or when the blood pH increases and we get alkalosis. We've discussed before respiratory compensation, where the body can either breathe faster to breathe out more CO2 to help increase the blood pH, or you can breathe more slowly. You can hypoventilate to release less CO2 helping to decrease the blood pH. The problem with respiratory compensation is you can't just hyperventilate or hypoventilate for long periods of time. So that's where we have the renal compensation where the kidneys can help modulate the blood pH. And this is slower, but it's also longer lasting. So in response to acidosis or decreases in blood pH, the kidneys will respond by increasing secretion of hydrogen ions, H+, and also increase reabsorption of bicarbonate. Combined, this will help to increase the blood pH. Alkalosis is going to involve the opposite response. The kidneys is going to decrease the H plus secretion and decrease bicarbonate reabsorption. This means more bicarbonate is going to be excreted and this results in a decrease in the blood pH.